now there are a lot of couples shows. There's a dating game, newlywed game, family game, baby game. They don't have divorce game. You've seen the shows, a bunch of couples sitting around giggling, hmm? asking dopey questions. Do you have any pet names? Yes, Godzilla. <laughs> And they always try to get him into a little fight, especially on newlywed game. If her answer doesn't match his answer when he comes out, they make him fight a little, you know. What do you mean, chocolate? Chocolate, Jesus, chocolate. Pistachio, man. He says chocolate, you know. You're not getting any tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to see divorce game. I think it's realistic the one part of the male-female relationship they haven't capitalized on. I mean, they have divorce court on TV. Why not divorce game? Face it, it should be a positive thing, not, not an ending of something. It's two people beginning new lives, you know? Give them appropriate prizes. Give them dance lessons and wardrobe, singles weekend, cosmetic surgery, whatever seems appropriate, you know? Get them going right. Welcome to Divorce Game, brought to you by National Van Line. <laughs> Yes, sir. If you're breaking up a home, let National break it up for you. <laughs> and now, here's America's favorite divorce funny man, a fellow with a split personality, Don Decree. Love's more comfortable the second time around. Thank you, Don Pardo, and hi out there, everyone. <laughs> Find another nice house today. Welcome to Divorce Game, the show where some lucky couple actually wins a legal divorce right on the air and spends an exciting week together here in Hollywood as our guest at the fabulous Veterans Hospital. <laughs> and a little later on, we'll be playing our home divorce game. That's where we call a housewife at random and tell her her husband is downtown drinking with another woman. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, that'll be lots of fun, but we'll be doing that a little bit later on in our show. Right now, it's time to meet a couple from yesterday, Raul and Congolia Breckenridge. <laughs> Been married 16 years and really can't stand one another. He's a pearl diver from Yuma and been out of work for some time now. <laughs> His hobbies are lighting fires and helping the poor. Her hobbies, collecting foreign tennis balls and knitting humorous cummerbunds. <laughs> and together they make napalm at home for a local right-wing group. <laughs> Wonderful couple, and uh, they chose category number four, mental cruelty. <sighs> okay, ladies, cool it. I know that's your favorite, mental cruelty. <laughs> and yesterday, you awarded them a divorce right here on our stage, and now it's time to determine the custody of their children. <laughs> we'll spin the big custody wheel. And we'll find out who gets who. Congolia, what are the ages of your children? Well, we have triplets, six, five, and one. <laughs> okay, let's spin the big custody wheel and find out how many she'll get to keep. <laughs> None! You don't keep any. Mr. Breckenridge gets all the children. How do you feel about that, Mr. Breckenridge? Oh, uh, do you think we could let her spin that wheel one more time? <laughs> No, the decision of the wheel is final, and now it's alimony time! Okay, cool it, ladies, alimony time. Yes, sir. And as you know, we like to be just as fair as the courts in awarding alimony, and so we use the alimony dartboard. Congolia will throw three darts to determine her weekly alimony. Oh, yeah. $1,550 a week! That's a new divorce game record. And I recall from Mr. Breckenridge's card, he only makes $1,500 a year. Well, we'll see him soon on our new nighttime show, Jail Game. Stay tuned for Sue Your Neighbor. And you bet your parents.